praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Well, now, the Lord has spoken with me uh, last night. The Lord has continued to speak with me about uh, the events that uh, highlight uh, the closeness with which we have drawn towards the coming of the Messiah. And uh, in this past night, when the Lord spoke with me on this day about the coming of the Messiah and the signs that he talked about, then I see now, the Lord showed me, the Lord, I see the Lord show me uh, uh, the massive historic fire that is going to break out. There is a very, very massive historic fire that breaks out. And I see people running. The Lord put me in the fire, and I panicked also. And I see people running in all directions, but the fire is so vast and so huge, it enclaves the people in it, encloses the people in. So there was almost nowhere to run, but I see a lot of people running in large numbers. Large numbers. A big fire is going to break out soon. A huge fire is about to break out soon. It will be in the news, and you see a lot of people running, running for their lives. I see a lot of people running in an amazing distress. I have never seen like that. The Lord puts me in there. I'm also stranded. Some people are trying to run to their houses to pick some money. There's this person who was saying they have put a lot of money in the house, so they want to run there and get the money. But fire circles them and it's coming, raging fire. So I see a lot of fire is coming. I see people running. I don't know whether it's black people or it looks more like there are black people running in all directions. There's got the historic fire and there's nowhere to run to. So people will be running in large mass, and the fire will consume all sides, all around. It is going to be a distressful time that uh, will consume at this hour. Now, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, talks about this unspeakable distress that will consume this hour. And then Daniel 12, verse 2, Daniel talks about the entry of the church into the glorious kingdom of God. And Daniel 12, 3, he highlights uh, righteousness, the fear of God. He highlights, highlights wisdom, the need for holiness to be upheld. And those are the means by which the nations must now prepare for the coming of the Messiah. Again, just a few days ago, the Lord sent a heavenly emissary, an envoy from heaven that sat with me, a very senior one, and spoke to me about making this announcement to the nations, to announce the nations that the Messiah is coming, that everybody now needs to prepare in righteousness, in that very fear of God, Daniel celebrates, in that uh, holiness, in upright standing with the Lord. This is the hour for righteousness in the church. And again, the Lord in this conversation this night, it is as though the Lord is speaking very clearly now to the church by saying that these things of money in the house, they were running for it, but consumed. Expensive clothes in the houses, they were running to try and salvage them, but destroyed, totally destroyed with the homes. So the Lord is saying it's at this hour now that people's hearts, people's hearts should be anchored unto the throne room of God in heaven, they are holy throne room of Jehovah in heaven where the Messiah anchored the souls of men when he died and he said upon resurrection that woman don't touch me I have not entered and then he entered and touched his blood on the mercy seat of the ark of the covenant of God that is in the throne room of God in heaven in that way he anchored the souls of the believers the holy Christian, the righteous Christians, those in upright standing, those in the fear of God, those walking in the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Thank you.